we want to factor this completely. There's no greatest common factor because that's where we always start. So then we count the terms. There are two terms, so it's either the difference of squares or the sum or difference of cubes. We can see that they're both perfect squares. So if we have a squared minus b squared, we can factor it into a plus b times a minus b, which is the sum and difference of their square roots. So in my problem, I can identify the square root of the first term as 9y and the square root of the second term as 5. So factoring that out, that means I would have 9y plus 5 times 9y minus 5. And I check each factor, but they cannot be broken down any further, so that would be completely factored.